All right, guys. Oh, almost the last one in this series, and I'm using a ton of colors here. Um, I'm using all the colors of the rainbow, basically. So all the bases that I used, I'm using in this pour. So I think I'm going to do maybe like this. And I'm just going to do these tiny little blobs of them and then I'll blow them out. Let me see here. Maybe I'll go with the purple. So let's see if this design makes anything different. And you guys let me know, did you guys follow along and do this series with me? I know a couple of people did and they showed me their results. Um, the green, I don't want to be too predominant in this because my blue may also go to green. Here's my indigo, I'll put that right over here. All right, here's my orange. Put that right there by the blues, a little bit on top. So yeah, if you guys followed along, let me know what you thought of it. I think I might, I kind of want to layer these a little bit more. What did you think, you know, was difficult about it? I know for me, what was difficult was color selection. And I don't mean necessarily color selection of the colors I mixed together, more so like what actual color base did I want? Because there are so many shades and tints and of every single color that I just didn't know sometimes which one to go with. Okay, I think this is plenty of paint. Mm, I've got enough orange on there. All right, here I'm coming through with my silver, the last one. All right, let's see how this goes. Pour the white around. Might as well finish that off. All right, rainbow pour. Come in this way. Yeah, I, yeah, whoo, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, done, not doing anything else with it. Let me show you, the colors are amazing. And I really liked, if I had puddled all those colors together, I would have probably ended up with just mud. But because I separated them into little drops, I got these burst of color everywhere. Uh, love it. All right, let me show you this one. What a great way to finish this off. Love the center. See how that's kind of stretching out all those colors? So that is how you do all seven colors in one pour with no mud. <laughs> Yay, it's so pretty. You guys let me know your thoughts. It kind of looks like what, like a bird phoenix rising or something this way. I tried not to touch this one much. You guys always yell at me. All right. All right guys, I have this one just on my table because I have some other stuff up in my living room right now and I didn't want to take everything down to put this one with it so it'll be a surprise when I finish the last one and put it together so you guys did the poll and I think I'm going to do one with all the colors on the base and then white and silver blown out over it and I will do one like this one but as a black base and then you guys can see which one you like 
So make sure you've got the notification bell turned on, subscribe. You can check out the rest of my rainbow videos and the little card that'll be up at the top. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to watch me and my crazy self. All right. Thank you guys. Yep. Good painting. Bye.